Hey everybody, it's Mike. Uh, I'm coming at you today. I got a little, uh, maybe a little tip on uh, if you do moto vlogging or camping or any kind of outdoorsy stuff with your family, solo, however it be. Um, and you have a action camera and you have a drone or you have multiple cameras, multiple drones. Um, the, the footage that you take you want to either be able to back it up in case something should happen to your device um, or you lose the you lose the device <laughs> this won't help you if you don't already have it backed up but it might help you should at least have some of it backed up but anyway what i'm getting at is last fall i took a trip out to the grand canyon on my motorcycle and i camped every night so i was concerned about if I filled up my micro SD card, if I filled it up on my camera or my drone, well, how was I going to uh, back that up and or dump it onto some way like a computer or uh, external drive? So I kind of started doing some research. Well, I didn't want to pack my laptop out to the Grand Canyon with me. Um, so I decided to do some more research. And in doing so, I found that you could get a external hard drive. Well, the external hard drive that I found, um, I actually have one. It's not a SSD drive though. It's just an external drive. It's like a couple terabytes, but then you gotta have, you gotta have the drive obviously, and you gotta have an adapter and you have to have your phone. Well, I'm using an Android phone. So I don't know how you would do this with a uh, iPhone cause I don't have an iPhone. So, what I got finding out was if you have an external drive and all this, you still need a power source to power your external drive if it's not, if it is not an SSD drive. So by taking an SSD drive, you don't need this uh, external power, like a battery backup, or not a battery backup, but say a, a backup battery to recharge your, your phone or whatever it is, your, your, device on your helmet your comp your communicator you know use that at night to charge everything back up for your next trip for the next day so you don't you don't have to use that so this this enables you to here's what i came up with i can actually use the ssd drive and the adapter this has a USB C plug on it that goes into your phone so um let me let me dive into the uh aspects of hooking this up to my phone okay guys here we are i'm going to show you how to get your files off of your micro sd card or and or this also applies to the sd card like i showed you going through this adapter going into your ssd drive using your android device now, if you don't have an SSD drive, you have just an external drive, you will need an adapter that will allow you to plug another plug in and plug your power cord from your battery back up into your adapter. That will drive your external drive that is not SSD. The SSD does not require power, external power to, to run it. So you're, this is the simplest way right here. So like I said, I took a trip to to the Grand Canyon and I was worried about getting my files off my cards and didn't want to pack on my laptop. So this was what I came up with. Now we're going to get back down to the what we're doing here. Um, I'm going to step through this. So use my Android device. First thing I'm going to do is go to my my files. So my files my files and when you go to my files it will show you this is my internal storage this is my sd card it's in the phone this is my micro sd card that is in this adapter and this is my ssd one terabyte external drive here okay so if you got two sources that are about the same uh size you may have trouble distinguishing one from the other one so what we're going to do now, we're going to go to my S, 
my micro SD card and get a file off of there and move to the SSD drive. So we're going to go to USB storage one, which is my micro SD card. Going to go to DCIM. Going to go to GoPro. And there's my folder. Now, by long holding it, then you get the, op the menu down at the bottom of the screen. What do you want to do? You want to move it? You want to copy it? You can share it. You can delete it. Um, you can do other stuff. So I just want to copy it. So I want to copy it. So what I'm going to do is hit copy. If I hit move, if I hit move, it moves the whole file from the micro SD card to the SSD. So if you want to clean your card off as you're going, you can do that too. Like if you're backing up your files, your trip, whatever, then you know they'll be on here and they won't be on that card anymore. So, but if you're worried about losing one or the other, you might want to copy it. So then I guess if you run out of room on your micro SD card, then you can uh, delete them later because you know you got them on the SSD card, which this allows you to look and see that they are in fact on the SSD drive. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna copy. So when I select copy, okay, now I have to tell it where to copy to. So if I say copy here, so it's gonna tell it's gonna try to copy it back to the SS or it's gonna try to copy it back to the micro SD card and say you already got a file with that name. That ain't what I want to do. So I'm gonna go up to the left hand corner and then go back. And I'm going to go back till I get to the menu that shows my drives. Okay, so now I'm going to touch the terabyte, my SSD drive here, storage 2. So now if I want to make a new folder, I want to put this in its own individual folder. I can go up to these three dots up here at the top, top right hand side. And I can say create folder. Now what I want to call this folder, we'll call it a YouTube DYI, how's that? DYI. Okay, so I'm going to create it. Okay, now it made me a folder. You can see it there. So now I'm going to touch that folder. Now I'll come down here to the bottom right. And I'm going to say copy here. So now you can see the progress is moving across. It's moving that file over to this new, to the SS drive into a file that I actually created to put it in. And should be done here in just a few seconds okay there it is there's my new folder or my new my file in my new folder on my SS drive SSD drive so like I said you can make files on here and keep track of uh, other stuff like motorcycle part and your camping part or you know how to you know whatever your your family trip or whatever you want you can actually make a folder for that actual file that you're pulling off your micro SD card or your SD card and store them on your backup or your SSD drive so now you get a backup and it's all still on my uh, micro SD card so if I wanted to like I said if I wanted to actually move it I would go back I would go to the folder where I want to go get the file from long hold it and I can, like I said, now if I say move, that's the same principle. I'm going to say move. I got to go back up here and I got to back out until I get to my folders or my files. And then I can select my terabyte folder or file or drive. I'm sorry. And then I can just say, well, we'll just make another new folder. What the heck? We'll create folder. And we'll just call this uh, move. Moved. How's that? So now I have a moved folder and I want to put it in there. Copy here. Or move here. Sorry. And now I'm moving the whole thing. Now when I go back to my, S my micro SD card, that, that file will no longer be on there. So there it is. There's my YouTube folder I made. There's my mood folder I made. So this is in my SSD drive. So now I'm going to go back to my micro SD card. Back to there. Back to there. And now you see it's gone. I, I moved it. So uh, I hope that helps y'all. Maybe uh, 
have a little peace of mind. It's like I said, this is very simple, easy to pack. It don't take up any space in your backpack, in your tank bag, whatever. This is ideal to me as far as getting my stuff off my uh, memory cards and backing them up and making sure I don't lose them and making sure that I can make room on my memory card for more uh, videos and uh, pictures, videos, whatever it is that you're transferring. So anyway, this is my <laughs> this is my solution to it. So hopefully this will help you and uh, you guys can get out there now and have some peace of mind and make some cool videos and back them up and enjoy life. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you uh, got something out of this. If you did, if you give me a thumbs up, let me know you like it. Say, hey, you know, you like it or if you don't like it, <laughs> I'm open to a creative criticism. I'm not the best uh, creator. Obviously, I don't have a fancy studio with fancy lights in the background and all that stuff that a lot of creators have. I'm just plain old Mike. That's me, Mr. Mike, 47274. And I, I'm just a down-to-earth guy and what you see is what you get kind of guy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Over and out.